Long before it had actually come out, the new Little Mermaid live action remake was receiving harsh criticism from people who all coincidentally had a problem with the fact that a black actress was cast to play Ariel. Well, now it's been released. It is apparently a fairly good success. It's made quite a bit of money, but that has not stopped trolls and bots from review bombing it. IMDB, in fact, is now working to lessen the impact of one star ratings because they acknowledge that there's been incredibly suspicious patterns of behavior designed to try to destroy a movie for committing the woke sin of having non white people in it. It's now received 39,000 ratings. Uh, that's a lot for a movie that just came out. It sits at a seven out of 10, 15,000 of the ratings were one star. And as of right now, if you go there, it says our rating mechanism has detected unusual voting activity on this title to preserve the reliability of our rating system and an alternate weighting calculation has been applied. This has apparently happened in multiple states. But anyway, bear in mind, again, it did okay. It got $117.5 million Memorial Day weekend. Not as much as the big release last year of Top Gun Maverick, but that was one of the biggest movies of the entire year. It still did pretty well. It appears to have broken the curse of the go woke, go broke. But despite the fact that that didn't happen, the right is not satisfied and just let this movie exist. So they're trying to kill it. Adrian, what do you think? Uh, it's just, it's pathetic. We see this all the time when individuals are completely uncomfortable up in arms when they see that they're not being centered as white people, where they recognize the thought that, hey, there are other people out there and they are taking center stage. They are getting opportunities, access, and resources. We don't want that. And I think it's really telling, especially in this day and age, given that there's always going to be a digital footprint, because you look back 40 years from now. And it's like you're just as good as the parents yelling at children um, who are trying to desegregate schools. Like this is what's going on in terms of individual being racist and hate hateful. Yeah, I I know that I talk about this sort of stuff a lot. The reactions to movies and to shows on the show, just because I just I find it to be so utterly pathetic. Like a, we talk about a lot of stuff that I think it reveals people to be pathetic in a variety of ways here on the, the show, but this is the worst. The tiny little baby boys, and most of them are boys, who have a problem with someone who isn't exactly like them being in a movie and a show. Along the way, saying they don't get what's the difference? Why do you need why do you need to see yourself represented when they make clear with their every action and word that they think it's the most important thing in the world that every single face they see staring back at them from a screen looks exactly like them. These tiny little pathetic baby boys. You have Matt Walsh, who months ago, I would say, should have never been able to come back from trying to make the scientific argument that black people can't be mermaids. That is so embarrassing, so thoroughly embarrassing, you pathetic little baby boy. That was months ago, at least. Ben Shapiro is still at it. He does these insipid little reaction videos to every cultural thing that happens where he just screws up his face and talks super fast in a high pitched voice. And for some reason, people find it to be interesting. But anyway, he did that yesterday saying that one of the songs in The Little Mermaid is audio hell. Benjamin, have you considered that not every movie and every song in every movie is intended for you? I've come to accept that. There's lots of movies that are made about like, you know, sports and stuff, they're not all for me. I don't whine about every single bit of them, every scene on social media, but they have to. Either because they actually are this pathetic, or more likely, they know that their base is, they know that their base wants them to be. And so they have to deliver what their base wants, which is constant tears and peeing your pants over the fact that there's a gay person in a movie or a black person on a show. How dare something like this exist? Any other thoughts, Adrian? Um, I don't know if you had seen it, but I thought it was hysterical. The New York Times review uh, by a man named Wesley Morris saying that the joy, fun, mystery, risk, flavor, kink are all missing from the Little Mermaid. It's like, <laughs> of course, why? Why am I going to want kink in a child's film? Like, it's like, what is wrong with these people? <laughs> I'll remind everyone. Years ago, this is back, this is five years ago, Ben Shapiro spent months being just 
destroyed mentally by the fact that there were people that were excited about Black Panther coming out. Like he tweeted about it for months. He could not get past the idea that there was a thing that was intended or had the effect of appealing to people that weren't like him. Not everything's for you, buddy. Not everything is for you. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.